how to get more dollars and how to grind faster in tier 2 for beginners. Should you buy submarines or aircraft carriers? Which is the best option? Ok guys, this video will be a complete guide for tier 2. For those players who just reached tier 2 and want to know what to do, I will show you the best options. That will save you a lot of time and a lot of money. Ok, so this is the most common question. In tier 2, what should I buy? An aircraft carrier or a submarine? Ok guys, my answer is don't buy this. Don't buy submarines and don't buy aircraft carriers. Ok guys, the best option in tier 2 is to buy a warship that will allow you to grind more gold and also more dollars, which is this one, RF Breast. This is my recommendation for you. This is the best option to grind. Because this warship is equipped with two missile slots, also cannons, torpedoes, and a good air defense. Ok, so this is one of the most powerful warships for tier 2. This will help you to get more dollars and will help you to get an aircraft carrier and also a submarine later. So, my recommendation is to play offline battles in a small map such as Arctic or maybe Storm. Also, never forget to upgrade your warships because it will increase the ability and also the power to win more battles. Why this warship is a good option? Because this is one of the only warships that has two missile slots and also a torpedo launcher which is really useful to fight against enemy submarines which are literally a nightmare. Ok, so the second question is which aircraft carrier should you buy? So a lot of people say that USS Nimitz is the best aircraft carrier and the answer is no it's not. If you want a recommendation for aircraft carrier I would recommend you this one CN Type 075 and the explanation is that this aircraft carrier is equipped with missile battery and also grenade launchers that will allow you to fight against enemy warships when your aircraft and also your helicopters get destroyed. Because if you play with an aircraft carrier like USS Nimitz, you will be only available to defend yourself using jets, you know, like strike fighter, fighter, and also your helicopter. And you will be only equipped with an auto cannon that it won't be so useful against enemies. But with CN Type 075, you will be able to destroy enemy warships and also submarines with this grenade launcher. You have 3 slots for helicopters and also you have a decent air defense. So the price I think is not too expensive, it's like 4 million dollars I guess and is one of your best options. Like this video right now if you want 500 million dollars. Also Giuseppe Garibaldi is another good option because you have missile battery and also torpedoes that will help you to fight both warships and submarines and also you have good a good strike fighter such as AV Harrier. Ok, so HMS Queen Elizabeth is the only aircraft carrier in tier 2 that is equipped with a drone. Yes, MQ-9 Reaper. This is a good drone, but remember that this warship doesn't have missiles and also grenade launchers, so it will be hard to fight against enemies. Ok, the next question is, which submarine is the best? Ok, so which tier 2 submarine is the best? There are two submarines that are the best in my opinion. These are RF Kursk and also CN Type 092. This is the best one in terms of durability and also with equipment. So, you have two torpedo slots and also two missile slots. And you can equip a nuclear missile. CN Type 092 will allow you to equip two missiles and also one torpedo. So the best one in my opinion still RF Kursk. Ok so let's talk about the gold warships in tier 2. Ok so we got this one RF Loon. This is the fastest warship of the game. It can reach a speed of 55 knots which is something incredible. Then we have this aircraft carrier which is It Cavour. Remember that these gold warships will help you to get 20% more dollars and 20% more gold. Ok, so we can see the equipment, we got a fighter, a strike fighter, a helicopter and also we have a cannon and a missile battery but we don't have nothing like torpedoes or grenade launchers to fight against enemy submarines so that's the bad thing about this aircraft carrier Ok, so let's continue with another gold warship Ok, here we have this one This is RF Novorossiysk Ok guys, so this is a good aircraft carrier but in my opinion this has nothing special so 
CN Type 075 still being a good option, in my opinion. Okay, guys, so this is Kayo Duilio. This worship is really a good option for players that want to use cannons. A lot of players use this worship as a cross tier. You can equip tier 3 cannons which are really powerful like this one and also railguns and you will have 3 of them. So this makes this worship a unique in its class because it's the only worship of the game that will allow you to get 3 slots for cannons. Ok guys, I forgot to mention this worship. This is also a good option. The problem about this worship is the durability. It's only 110,000 of durability so it's not good enough. But it is a good option because it has a missile battery, a cannon, and also a torpedo launcher. Okay, so X-Wind 4000 is another gold warship. It is really fast, it has two missile slots, a cannon, and also two slots for helicopters. So this is a good option too. But if you want something really strong, this warship is for you. This is Frygate 123. You can see that this warship has a durability of 160,000 HP. And also, we got missiles, cannons, and also torpedoes. It's a good warship, it is a complete warship with a high durability. Okay guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the best guides for modern warships. I gotta make it!